I'm here at, or you can see it right there, O'Reilly's Auto Parts. Buy myself the new uh, cable space with a long bolt for my side side post terminal. I need a longer one because it doesn't fit. I guess that's the wrong size. I need this one. Anyway, I am um, going down the road, going the speed limit, which is 40, and 40 mile an hour car versus a two mile an hour motorized wheelchair probably gonna bet on the car uh, but this woman decides to like, come out in front of me now I didn't see her because she was coming across the street towards me perpendicularly towards me um, the right lane was the car she was going in front of but it was turning so she felt safe I was in the left lane and that's just the two lanes I was in the left lane and so I saw her 30 feet before she died and I slammed on the brake and I had the battery sitting behind me so it slams into the back of me which causes a little bit of confusion in my head but I keep the brake applied <clears throat> uh, she was in, in my recollection of the incident near miss why do they call it a near miss it was a miss miss a near miss means I hit her anyway um, she was 35 to 40 uh, unkempt reddish orange hair white lady dour and expression with a surprise expression but she was didn't look like she had a happy face normally um, uh, I'm gonna say 200 pounds but her, her height maybe five two um, but she might have had leg deformation I really can't remember her legs but I think I saw that she had like either they were cut off or they were dwarfed like she was a dwarf. Um, oh, it was right here. Oh man. Oh, and I'm in Darien, Georgia, and it was at the corner of uh, 251 and 17, right here. Right there. Someone almost killed her. Man, alive. Knife emerged. I'm, I'm fine. But uh, boy. <laughs> And that was that was 15 minutes ago. I'm still a little bit full of adrenaline. I don't know, you guys. What's wrong with people? Why are they trying to dart out into in traffic and die? Is is there something in the water? Cause I don't get it. I don't get it. But anyway. Uh, if you ever feel like praying for me, if I ever pop up in your mind, um, pray for me. Just say, you know what? I feel like praying for Polly Hart and his beautiful wife, Jennifer, and just go ahead and do it. And, th and that's, that's the thing, right? We should, uh, <clears throat> we should be open to the, to the talk, um, between us and the creator, uh, the, the, the father, the son, the Holy Spirit, whatever it is, um, when you're open and available to converse with the one who made you and the one who gives us uh, the comforter is, is what Jesus said. He said, I'll give you the comforter, another comforter. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. So when we're talking, you know, in, in a car, you turn the music off, you turn the, radio, the podcast off, whatever. Turn it off and just talk to, to, to God, right? Isn't that, isn't that just what we should be doing anyway? <clears throat> I like the idea of worship. I have a cat. He's as dumb as a bag of hammers. His name is Toaster Appliance. Uh, he is very low intelligence cat, which is, you know, usually they don't survive. But he just he just stares at me, and he loves me, and he asks permission to come sit on my lap, and I'll pick him up, and he'll just he'll just start drooling everywhere. Oh, I love you, Dad. I love you so much. And he'll just he'll just you know, and I'll and I'll do this to him and. And he'll come and he'll grab my, he'll grab my hand, like he'll bring it, bring, bring my hand towards his face, you know, like, ooh, there is a hawk, or an osprey, or, or something, falcon. No, that was either a hawk. I think it was a hawk. Anyway, oh, oh, and um, we get to worship God. And we're the only species of animal. That has a nefesh, which is the, the breath of life, that actually has a ruach as well. When we are reborn into 
<clears throat> the metaphysical reality that is the new creation. We, we, we have a Ruach and our spirit dwells uh, with the Holy Spirit of God, the Ruach HaKodesh, the, the Holy Holy Spirit. Um, Revelation Isaiah, uh, there are seven aspects of the of the Ruach HaKodesh. And sometimes I'll just sit there and I'll talk. I'll talk to one of the seven candlesticks. I'll talk to wisdom or I'll talk to knowledge or I'll talk to the <coughs> spirit of the fear of, 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 of him. And, uh, you know, talking to the spirit of, of fear of reverence. And every now and again, I'll just, I'll just sing. And <coughs> the spirit of wisdom, specifically, uh, in Hebrew, it, it talks about a, a feminine aspect of her and Proverbs 8 2 and 3 talks about wisdom cries in the streets she is looking for people to love her and so I, I'm always wanting to love wisdom because that would just be the greatest thing ever to love wisdom um, and so but sometimes I'll talk to the different parts of the, of the Ruach HaKodesh my most gentle and, and pure singing is uh, Carrie Job wrote a song called uh, the Revelation Song and the chorus is holy 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 is the Lord God Almighty and that's actually what the, the creatures and the elders <clears throat> holy 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 that's the the, the thamata. and so every now and again I, you know the rest of the words are okay um, but when she when she sings scripture that's that's real worship to me uh, and and worship isn't singing I hope you know that. Worship is just worship. So you can worship in solitude, in quiet. You can worship uh, in, 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 a, in a gathering, uh, in singing or in prayer, or in just um, reverence, a, a very somber. It can, be, it can be joyful. It can be jubilee. Uh, jub, jubilee? Jub, jubilee? That's not a word. Uh, joyous. It can be very joyous and, and, and raucous and, and crazy and fun. Uh... And that's the idea of Zechariah 3.17. Uh, he spins around wildly in anticipation of you. That's the idea. Uh, but but to worship him, sometimes I get to the to the to the holy holy holy, and I just sing it. I'll just sing it, holy holy holy, and I'll and I'll come to tears. I'm a I'm a weeper. I'm like Jeremiah. I'll come to tears very quickly. I start singing it to to the ruach, you know, because I'll dare say it. I'll just say that uh, the ruach hokades or she. Uh, or the aspects of, of, of it or her uh, and I have come to a, a great trust, love, acceptance um, and everything about that aspect that, that spirit of God Most High every, every part of that the aspects that he shows through the Holy Spirit's seven candlesticks I love and I appreciate I can pass this guy. It's a, it's a dotted line. Okay. It's a weird construction area. Um, but <clears throat> every now and again, I'll, I'll pray to Yeshua, to Jesus. And that's different. Um, and I I get in trouble with uh, some of my other friends. They, they don't like the word Lord uh, because it, it's, it promotes Baal. And, and, you know, Gideon, his dad... Uh, he was a Baal uh, builder. He built sites for Baal, for Baal. Uh, and Gideon, he was told, tear them all down. And he's like, okay, uh, I'll do it at night. And then in the morning, um, who did this? Let's kill him. And Gideon's dad's like, well, my son did that. So anyway, uh, so, but I, but I, I use the word Lord, which means in English just means boss. Now I work at JCB. Uh, which is a tractor building company that actually is the name of the owner, the original founder, uh, Ban Bamford, is his last name. He's a British lord, and he's an actual baron, so he's an actual lord. He's my lord. Uh, he's not my demon king. He's not my <coughs> fallen angel uh, who, I, who I bow down or placate to or kowtow to, but I actually have a, a lord. I don't worship him. He gives me money. Uh, I actually do my Lord, it's not my Savior, but my Lord and Master, JCB, and then I have my Lord and Savior, J-E-S-U-S, -E <laughs> or I-E-S-U-S, -E or or however you say, spell Yeshua, 
in, in Hebrew or Yahshua or, or Joshua or whatever it is. Uh, he's my Lord and Savior. So there's a difference. And when I say my, my Lord, I mean uh, the big J, not the little J, the little J being JCB. Which is funny. I think it's hilarious that I have a Lord. It starts with the J. Then I have the Lord. There's no J. <laughs> J was an invention. <clears throat> so anyway, that's just an aside. But I'll pray to pray to Yeshua, and it's a different conversation. Uh, and then often, more often than not, when I do uh, what they call the Lord's Prayer, uh, when I do the Shema, uh, it, and Shema is not really a prayer; it's an exhortation to myself and to those around me. Uh, but the Lord's Prayer, Yeshua said, "When you pray, pray, our Father who art in heaven." So. What's the first word? Our. Corporate. It's a corporate. We know. Uh, our Father. So, He's our Father. He's he who art in heaven. Uh, and that's what the Shema is. It's, here, Israel, God, the one God, is our God. Worship that God. Worship the God. Worship God, God, uh, with all your heart, strength, and mind, which is the totality of yourself. So, even Yeshua, the Word made flesh, um is telling us, hey, when you pray, pray to the Father. So, most of the time, I do pray to the Father. And, uh, out of my, out of my lips, right before I hit this late, or right before I almost hit the lady, as I was missing the lady, out of my lips was, oh God. And to me, now, to some might say, well, don't take the name of the Lord and God in, in vain. That's not what that means when someone shouts out J-E-S-U-S -S or something like that. That's not what taking his name in vain means. But when I use that as an expletive, uh, as, as, as a, a shout, um, that's something you don't see every day. You see it a lot in Georgia. Uh, a lady on a 4x4, four four, black lady with her two-year-old son in a Sunday dress on a 4x4 four four in the countryside. That's Georgia. That's the Deep South. Um, however, I digress. When I use the term, uh, oh God, I'm actually praying. I am actually praying. And that, that's, it's such a good feeling to know that <laughs> out of my mouth is not coming, uh, a, a curse or an expletive or OF. Um, it's actually like, which is... That would be like a man fear thing. That would be like um, just a curse. You know, I, blessings and cursings come out of the mouth. For out of the abundance of the mouth, the heart speaks. Out of the abundance of the, <laughs> out of the, abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And so out of my mouth, at the time where I was almost going to hit a lady in a wheelchair, um, I prayed. And I think, try it. Well, don't try it. Don't try hitting people in the car. But... <clears throat> Be very aware. Be aware the next time you are in a crisis, and it's a surprise crisis. Um, see what comes out of your mouth. Well, you really can't see it unless it's very cold and it's vapor. Uh, so listen to what comes out of your mouth. Right? Listen. Are you cursing the situation? Are you cursing yourself? Are you cursing the person? Are you cursing the thing? The uh, the, the the timing? Whatever it is, are you cursing or are you blessing? You know, uh, another time, I recall another time with my, uh, I was with a, a woman who wasn't my wife now, it wasn't Jennifer, so someone else I was with, and we were driving, and uh, I signed the brakes, and I said, oh, protect him, Jesus, you know, immediately, the prayer wasn't for me, uh, it was for, oh, I have a story. It was for the, the, the other person. Okay, here's another time I was driving with my friend John William Conrad, who was a genius musician. You should go find him. He's on Instagram and YouTube. John William Conrad. He has a very pretty bald head and a very beautiful smile and a lovely wife uh, and a beautiful daughter. Uh, John and I were in my wife's Scion. It was a black Scion, if you recall that company. Uh, we were turning right and the other guy was coming towards us, and it was at a weird angle. So it was like a Y. So we're turning, and he's coming straight. 
<clears throat> and in Oklahoma, in the winter, because of the way the ground works and the way that the atmosphere is, sometimes you get what's called black ice. <clears throat> it's, it's just invisible ice, which ice is clear, yes, I understand. But on top of black top, and you don't expect it, black ice is, well, very dangerous. Um, and we were on black ice, and I didn't know it. And I applied the brakes as I was trying to stop. And the road turned. I went, I went forward. I was headed forward. The road turned. The guy had already come to a complete stop and was trying to trying to get out of the way. And I said, "Oh Jesus, protect us! No damage! No damage! No damage!" And I kid you not, um, there is no physical way for me to describe what happened because it was an impossible scenario. So the front left bumper area, approximately eight inches to one foot, went through his back left bumper, but did not touch. So matter phased one through another, uh, or uh, an angel bent reality, causing a temporal, not a temporal, but a, call, a, single, a singularity, and flexed, kind of like how Matrix did in the Neo, uh, it, how, how Neo did in the Matrix, sorry, uh, how he, he kind of like flexed and reality flexed around him. An angel did that, uh, or um, some sort of, some sort of space-time shift. Anyway, we, we phased through his uh, car my front left bumper, which was my wife's car, and his back left bumper. He phased through. And he got out, he jumped out, because he didn't hear the crunch. And I got out, John got out, because we none of us heard the crunch. And we looked, and then we looked again, and I looked at him, and he looked at me, and we looked at each other, and I looked at John, John looked at him, John, he looked at me, I looked at John, we, we all kind of three went, huh, have a good day. And I, sh I could have used that. I could have used that opportunity to preach the gospel right there. And maybe I should have. Maybe I did. I don't recall. I don't, no, I don't recall preaching. I, I could have though. But uh, it, it was the words that came out of my mouth. No damage. And save us, Jesus. Those words. Those are good words. Whew. I think my adrenaline is done, and I think my body is needing some different. Uh, chemicals. I think maybe calories. I don't have anything to eat in here. I did, I did drink this. These are okay, but I think mostly it's just sugar, so maybe I should read the ingredients before I drink those. Uh, yeah, so yeah, so prayer in the time of emergency is going to work because uh, if, you, if you have faith as small as a grain of mustard seed, you should say, you can say, you, sh you will say, to this mountain, be thou removed and cast into the sea. And what? It won't happen? No, no, no. It will be done for you. That is Yeshua saying that. And what was he? He was the Word made flesh. So he was there coming out of Yahuwah, God Most High, coming out of his mouth when God spoke creation into existence. Therefore, Yeshua was created. Uh, he was there. He understood it. And wisdom watched it all happen. So all three of them, all the, the whatever you call it, the, the the, the seven parts, the nine parts of God, the, the, the Trinity parts of God, they were all there uh, when when uh, God Most High spoke spoke it into existence. Now I, I I think that's awesome. And so in times of stress, whatever you speak shall be done. I believe it. As the heart believes, so the mouth speaks. Are you cursing? your situation, or are you blessing your situation, right? Are you cursing reality against yourself, or are you blessing reality, you know? What are you doing? Because the tongue is a deadly poison, full of full of viper's venom. Uh, with it, you, you know, just like the rudder on a ship, you can control the whole ship just by your tongue. So are you speaking good things, or are you speaking bad things? That's the lesson today. And there's my 20-minute YouTube sermon. Have a good day. God bless you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.